The fall armyworm, Spidoptera frugipeda, originates from the tropical regions of the United States and Argentina and is a serious pest of maize crops in Brazil. It made its first appearance early in 2016 on the African continent as outbreaks in West and Central Africa, but these were initially attributed to the indigenous Spidoptera species. In December 2016, Zambia and Zimbabwe reported damage to their maize crops, and by January 2017, this pest had spread to South Africa. Unlike its cousin, the African armyworm Spidoptera exempta, the fall armyworm larvae eat both the leaves and the reproductive parts of a plant. This pest now poses a serious threat to our region's food security and early warning strategies that include the capture of male moths in traps will assist in determining pest population levels and spread. However, the moths tend to lose their wing scales in the traps and the lures sometimes attract non-target species. There are seven species of Spidoptera on the African continent, with the moths very similar in appearance. Here you can see the similarity between the fall armyworm and the African armyworm male moths. The male reproductive structures do have characters to differentiate between the species, but this requires dissection of the genitalia. Basic tools are needed for the dissection, namely curved tweezers, small soft hair paint brushes and two needle probes. You will also need a 10% potassium hydroxide solution to soften the abdomen and remove non-sclerotized material, distilled water, acetic acid and glycerine. Once the abdomen is softened, transfer it to a clean watch glass and add distilled water and a drop of acetic acid. The Biosystematics Division of the ARC uses a state-of-the-art high-resolution microimaging system for dissections. Using two tweezers or needle probes, gently press the end of the abdomen towards the apex and push out the genitalia. Separate the valves from the abdomen by gently pulling them apart. The next step is to clean off all the scales. Carefully wipe off the scales with a paintbrush from the middle to the side. If the liquid becomes cloudy, replace it with distilled water. Continue until all the scales are removed. Place the clean genitalia on a clean microscope slide with a drop of glycerine. The next two photos illustrate the basic genitalic terminology you will need to be able to identify the four characteristics of the fall armyworm.
The fall armyworm can be positively identified using these four genitalic characteristics. Move the genitalia into a ventral position where you can see both valves. This is the coromata, one on either side of the valves. In the fall armyworm, the coromata is single lobed. If you can see a double lobed coromata, then the specimen you are screening is not the fall armyworm. The ampulla are claw like structures and are slightly curved. The next two characteristics are inner genitalic structures and the genitalia need to be cut open as shown so that the two valves lie open and flat. The four unique characteristics of the fall armyworm are now visible. Both the clavus and the costal process can only be seen once the genitalia are opened. The clavus, magnified up to 112 times, is short and square-shaped. The costal process is small, narrow, elongated and straight, and inclined slightly. On completion of the dissection process, the genitalia must be preserved for future reference. It is sealed in a small vial with glycerine and the pinned moth body is stored together with this vial and then labelled. Moths are pinned with both wings stretched out and housed in the insect collections for safekeeping. The Agricultural Research Council is a custodian of the South African National Collections, which are a national asset. Information in the collections is used for supporting agriculture with respect to host distribution, pest status and many more aspects. The insect collections form part of the national asset including arachnids, nematodes, fungi, bacteria and viruses.